Hello everybody and welcome back to another snapshot video. This is snapshot 19w41a and the first noticeable change is that there's actually a new uh, I don't really know what to call it the background screen uh, where we got bees and beehive. Alright guys so, so straight into it uh, we got ourselves the honey block finally the honey block uh, so it's pretty simple crafting recipe, uh, just four honey bottles that you grab from a bee's nest. That gives you one whole honey block. Hello, bee. And, uh, yeah. Oh, you get the bottles back. That's good. Okay. At least that works. So, the sound is interesting. Look how, look when I'm holding it. It's, like, really transparent. Huh. That's, like, cool. I love that. Huh. Alright. Ugh. What is that sound? Okay, so it's instant break, just like, just like slime. Huh, it's slow, but not too slow. It's almost like you're just, you're just sneaking. Oh no, it's kind of a little bit faster than sneaking. Huh, that's cool. But jumping on the other hand, now that is very limited. It's almost like you're just completely stuck in the honey. What about when you're shifting? Yeah, it seems to be the same, huh? That's uh, that's interesting. Probably, definitely my most favorite feature. Oh god, that piston is so loud. Um, all right, let's see. But if I stand on the honey block here, oh god, my frames do not like that. Get on the block. See, it pushes me with it. <laughs> that is cool. That is definitely gonna be some interesting uh, stuff with redstone that I definitely do not understand myself but I can't wait to see what people will do with this and I'm very much stuck on it all right so apparently mobs actually do not like walking on the honey blocks at all so if we put a cow over here let's see if I put a cow on there he'll probably try and run away what is wrong with the lighting on items uh, I mean I guess they're kind of stuck but Apparently they don't like to walk on honey blocks. I mean that wolf kind of just ran away. Okay, so apparently jumping on uh, honey blocks cushions your fall. So yeah, I'm gonna jump off here. Make sure I am actually in survival. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Wow, I only took three hearts from all that all that way up. I think that's better than. Hay bales. I'm not actually too sure. If you stick yourself to a wall, you will s you will, like go down slowly, or you can like I don't think you can slide up it. Okay, that's cool. That is kind of gross that sound, but that's pretty cool. So the next uh, new addition to the snapshot is a uh, honeycomb block, which is kind of cute. Uh, you could definitely make your own like beehives and stuff like that now that would be awesome it's simply just four honeycombs gives you a honeycomb block sweet so yeah they're mostly just for decoration so you could go ahead and just kind of huh that's definitely an interesting sound that sounds a lot like coral huh but yeah you could go ahead build your own little like beehive or whatever don't know just whatever heart desires so yeah that's definitely one for the builders out there all right so uh just a simple new command uh the spectate command so if i wanted to spectate say a player then i could just be like slash spectate and then lautner but i can't spectate myself so this uh this cow will be our uh our spectate and then go spectator mr cow and boom there we go we are now spectating the cow. This one is definitely an interesting one, and it's to do with iron golems. And when they are damaged, so let's give this guy uh, some potion of harming. I. Oh. All right. I'm sorry, dude. Apparently, mobs aren't. Yes. So that is uh, <laughs> that is the first change there. As you can see, he starts to. Uh, he starts to like crack as he takes more damage, which is definitely something that I like. It's almost like he's breaking, like he's a block. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Angolum. 
but it looks like he'll break. And there he goes. I'm sorry, Mr. Iron Golem. But the cool thing is, not only do they start to indicate when they take damage, but when they do, you can feed them iron and it fixes them. Look at that, that's so cool. All right, my dude. It looks like you just have to actually feed it to him, but you can repair your iron golem. That is so cool, I love that. All right, well, other than that, it seems like we don't, haven't seen any other parody uh, between the Bedrock Edition and Java Edition of Minecraft at the moment, but hopefully we'll get more of that soon because that's what I'm mostly hoping for because we seem to get the rest of what 1.15 is with the whole bees and honey and bug fixes, which there is a lot of bug fixes. Uh, the full change log will be in the description, but these nice little uh, extra features are are good. It's uh, definitely nice. Lots of bug fixes is awesome, but yeah, uh, I definitely hope to see some major bugs fixed, like this weird lighting glitch. I think it's the new lighting engine. Not too sure, uh, but. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Hengel. <laughs>